this one is 0 1 so when you see this circuit here what you can see is the sum is a representative of sum is a representative of which circuit XR logically similarly carry as you can see is a representative of uh, it is a representative of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001 means which circuit it is it is um, and gate this represents an and gate so this is and gate therefore when you write this circuit here as you can see a is input b also is the input so both the inputs sum is represented by an xr gate and carry is represented by a and gate so you have to give 0 if this is 0 this also is 0 and 0 means but this is 0 this is also 0 so 0 0 is what you have when you give 0 0 the sum is expected to be 0 carry is also expected to be 0 then next let me take uh, the next value let us take this is 1 this continues to be 0 that means this is 1 this is 0 so I am taking 0 1 0 1 when you do the output is expected to be of this gate and this gate is expected to be 0 second possibility the third possibility what is the third possibility the third possibility is I am changing the color 0 1 let me take this again uh, a was uh, made 1 okay now let me make this as 0 this as 1 so what is happening what is the third possibility 0 and uh, this is 1 so 0 1 again the sum is 1 this is 0 the fourth possibility what is the fourth possibility that I am taking when you take fourth possibility, A is equal to B is equal to 1. When A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, XR gate output is 0 and AND gate output is 1. So, in other words, when you are adding also, 1 plus 1 when you add, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0 in binary system. This 0 is attributed to sum. And this one is attributed to that. So this is how the circuit is constructed. Now, before I go to the circuit, actually what am I looking at here is a full error circuit. This half adder is used to add two bits. Full adder is used to add 3 bits. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 when you add it is 1. one. That is the last one. So let me show you how we can do it. Insert. Uh, let me draw it. That's better. So let me take uh, the serial number. B already you have you have one more input and let us see what is sum and what is carry. So how do you do this? 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2 zeros, 1, 1, 0, 0, Four zeros, four ones. Now zero all zeros, so sum is zero, carry also is 
this 0 plus 0. So how do you add actually 0 plus 0 plus 0. First these two are added it is 0. This 0 is added that is 0. So here 0 plus 0 when you add you get 0. That is added to this. So sum is 1 and is 0. Now 0 plus 1 when you add you get 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. So sum is 1 and is 0. 0 plus 1 you get 1. 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 plus 1. And doing this here. 0 plus 1 is 1. And 1. So 1 and 0. You will write this in sum. The other one is that. Here 1 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. So sum is 1. That is 0. And here 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 again is 0. 1 plus 1. 1, 0, 1 is carry. This 0 is added. So 1 plus 1 is carry 1. How it is 1. Now add 1 all 1s. 1 plus 1 plus 1. How do you add this? First 1 plus 1. 1, 0. This is sum. This is carry. This is again added to 1. So this is 1. Carry is 1. This is 1. So what actually that you have to see here is. When is uh, sum 0? Here. Here. Where the number of 1s is even. XR gate is 0. The output of XR gate is 0. Where is it 1? Here. 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 Where the number of inputs are 1, 1 here and 2. So when it is odd, when the number of 1s is odd, XR output is 1. That means you are using XR gate as a parity generator. That means it will set a flag to 1 if there are odd number of 1s. And it will be reset to 0 if there are even number of 1s. So that is what it is. And here what actually happens here is so when is it 1? A and B and C and also A, B, C. So this sum is actually referred to as it can be represented by a 3 input 3 input XR gate. This is a 3 input XR gate. Now you have only 7, 4, 8, 6 which is only a 2 input gate. So from 2 input gate, how do you write a 3 input gate? So what to do is, take an XR gate like this. A, B. Then give it to another XR gate. So you represent this as A with a circle B. This is C. Therefore, here you will get A plus B plus C. Okay. So now go back to this circuit here. This is the circuit that you have here. So now see what happens here. So this is 1, 0, 0. 1 plus 0. What will happen? What will you get here? Sum is 1. Carry is 0. Now you are giving 0 here. So 1 plus 0. 1 plus 0. Sum is 1. Okay. Carry is 0. So 0 plus 0 you get this as 0. So this I told you you can use that circuit verse. Give different values for these inputs and see how your output is generated. So this is how you will be doing this uh, 
な。